Hey guys, this is Justin with Presidium Edge, and today I wanted to make a video on uh, how to be more self-reliant and how to do that without spending egregious amounts of money in prepackaged dehydrated food. Um, this apparatus will, won't cost you a whole lot and uh, will actually last you for about two to three years um, each cycle. You will have to recycle with this, but in the long run you'll still be spending a heck of a lot less than you would be um, if you were just to go the food storage um, food storage route. I do consider food storage uh, to be a, a, a good backup or a supplement to this particular setup, but um, it won't be my mainstay. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it a whole lot better than you would the prepackaged stuff. Um, so with that, just sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and uh, let's get started. So where could I be going with this? Well, there's several hundred directions I could have gone with this video, but I wanted to start simple. Um, let's talk about raising chickens. Now I know to some of you the idea probably seems uh, pretty foreign and um, unfeasible, but I can assure you that it's not. I've been doing this for about three years now and I've had a lot of success with it. Um, I get fresh eggs every day. Um, it's just a... Uh, it's just really enjoyable to do. Uh, but before you get to that, you gotta get through this. Um, these are baby chickens. This is the stage that requires the most work. Um, and uh, before I get into all the specs and stuff like that, let's just uh, let's get a quick, uh, quick list of the things that we're going to need. So first and foremost, you're gonna need some place for your chickens to be in. Um, this, these are a couple examples of a brooder box. Or uh, you can just go the cheap route like I do and just uh, use an old storage tote and uh, they'll, be, they'll be fine. Uh, just something that's got, you know, obviously four walls and uh, an easily made or fashioned top so that they don't fly out uh, when they get big enough to do that. So here we see some examples of an incandescent heat light. This is paramount in this stage of raising chickens. Uh, their internal body temperature needs to be at least 75 to 80 degrees um, in their environment for them to be healthy. Um, if it's not, they could, uh, they could die. And uh, a way to tell if they're too hot or too cold, um, if your baby chickens are moving away from the light, hugging off in a corner, that means uh, the light's too hot on them. And then if they're uh, huddled underneath the light as close as they can get, that means they're too cold and the light's too far away from them. So you can adjust it accordingly. Uh, but uh, that just comes with experience. You can figure that out. Um, it's really not that hard. All right, so we've got their light and their water in their little box. So what are we going to feed them? Well, these are some examples of chick starter. It's uh, chicken feed that's been formulated so that the little guys can, can eat it effectively and it's got the right blend of nutrients and vitamins they need to uh, survive. So uh, this this stuff's not that expensive. Um, it's like maybe ten ten dollars for a big 50 pound bag, 10 or 12 bucks for a big 50 pound bag and as they get older their feed will actually get cheaper because it costs less to process it. So this is what the live setup looks like. After you get it all put together and hammered out, um, this is what you're going to end up with, or something that looks like it. Um, in, the bottom, in the bottom of that tote, you'll see that I've got some, uh, some wood chip bedding down there. It just gives them something soft to walk around on and cuts down on any smell that you're going to have coming out of there. But uh, there won't be a whole lot of you know urine or, or fecal matter that's going to stink up the place. Um, so it's not really something to worry about. I just I more or less put it in there so that they can uh, have something soft to walk around on. So here's some examples of uh, some yearling chicks that uh, they're starting to get their feathers and uh, they got uh, a whole lot bigger. They're still not laying yet at this point, but it's uh, it's it should be duly noted because at this point they do have the ability to uh, to flutter out of whatever enclosure you have them in. Uh, so I would suggest putting some chicken wire over the top of whatever you've got them in to keep them in there. Um, they still need the heat light at this point too. Um, but at this point you probably need to just add some chicken wire over the top. Uh, just something they can, uh, so they don't get out. And this is the finished product. Happy Healthy Laying Hens. Um, I've got about 120 invested in the coop itself as well as the nesting box. I built them both myself 
free sheet metal and some 4x4 posts from Lowe's. Um, they eat off the ground, it helps their digestive system, and I feed them crack corn. Uh, you can also save money in whatever food waste you have. Um, you can actually feed them too, they'll eat pretty much anything. So I'll let you just take a look at what I've got going on here. So that was it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found the information helpful. Um, if you did, that's great. I know I enjoyed making it a whole lot. Um, so uh, in closing, I just want to say this. This was all done in my backyard. I don't live on a farm. I live in a subdivision. This is something anybody anywhere can do. Yes, you can do this. Um, having said that, just make sure you check your city ordinances to make sure that it's legal where you are. Uh, but until then, until next time, folks, this is Justin for City and Edge. Thanks. Have a good day.